think doctors need to know about generative AI because it's going to be the game changer now. It is highly disruptive. We can't deny that. Many jobs are affected. Artists, uh, developers, uh, analysts, video editors, all are affected by generative AI. And the doctors can be too. All right? So I think having this knowledge about generative AI can make you stand up from the rest. And you sort of able to leverage yourself, able to upgrade yourself to keep yourself relevant. And you do have to know a bit of technicalities about generative AI, which I will cover in this talk as much as possible. We do have 30 minutes. I try my best to cover everything. So what we will cover today is three main things. First is a brief overview of AI and generative AI. Second, I will talk about, sorry, I will do some live demo using ChatGPT. I try my best in like 10 minutes. And then given to discuss some about principles and concerns about using AI in healthcare. Right, let's begin by defining what AI is. AI or artificial intelligence refers to machines that can perform tasks that would normally require human intelligence. Take your washing machine, for example, right? It is able to do your own thing, right? Able to wash your clothes and so on, right? Or like whatever things that you're doing, if you notice, everywhere around you, there are many things that are being automated. Those are AI, essentially. Uh, so when people say AI, it's a very broad term. Machine learning is something different. Machine learning is more complex than AI. It's a subset of AI that involves training algorithms or sequence of instructions to make predictions or decisions based on data. The keyword is predictions and decisions. So before this, like the washing machine, it is not able to make decisions, right? If your washing machine is able to make decisions, let me know. I really want to know how, right? Well, or it's AI machine, right? You can do it, by the way. But machine learning means it's able to make decisions on your behalf. That's machine learning. So we have three main things of machine learning. First is on classification and regression. And then, sorry, we have supervised learning, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. Don't worry about the technicalities. Just, just know that there are many types of machine learning. And the differences lies in how you train the model, right? Some model requires you to teach it beforehand and it will learn. Some models like unsupervised learning, the machine will try to identify certain patterns and you have to label them afterwards. Reinforcement learning means the machine sort of experiment on its own and able to find its way through, right? And then deep learning is even deeper, okay? Pun intended, right? So a subset of ML that involves tra training artificial neural networks with many layers to recognize patterns of data. If you see this, right, there is input, and inside it, inside the model, there are many more layers of data, right? Layers, sorry, layers of, of, of uh, functions and other things, and finally, you will get the output, okay? The scientists who design this deep learning, they take their inspiration from the human neurons. You can see that our neurons have the cell body, and we have the dendrites, right? And also, you can see how the stimulus or impulse comes from the dendrite, or actually everywhere from the cell nucleus, from the cell body towards the axon, right? And apparently, if you see the artificial neuron, it has the same mechanism where you receive input from various sensors or sensors, whatever you call it, it gets into the model, model do some calculation, and you're gonna get the output. It's the same principle, to be honest. But if you go deeper, it's, it's very different from the human brain. All right, so if you go into the Venn diagram, you're gonna see there are four layers of, of, of basically AI. As you can see that not all AI is machine learning, and not all machine learning are deep learning, and not all deep learning is generative AI. So generative AI is very, very new, and it's one of the most disruptive AI that we've seen today, in a good or in a bad way. All right. So just a bit of story about what is it about? What is all this hype all about? Okay. In 2017, right? You can scan this while you see the paper. There is a paper called Attention is All You Need. It's a breakthrough paper essentially. I would say almost like the breakthrough when people understand about X-rays or atomic bombs, right? Or about all this breakthrough, right? This is the breakthrough of the century, to be honest. So where the scientists managed to make a AI model